we start with the Sefer Shemila Salashon, a retroactive guilt. Very interesting. So it says, um, one should ponder the fact that the, the moment he speaks Loshan Hara, a heavenly angels announce his own sins. Rokeh Agada Mishle 11 12, 27. So it's very, very important concept for us to know when a um, when person speaks Loshan Hara, um, it's, uh, so it's like a, he's a second witness to the court. So usually in Jewish court, you need that witnesses to testify. Right? And um, so Satan is one witness, right? He said this person did so and so, right? Uh, but of course, one witness is not enough. And when a person starts speaking Lashon Haras, Satan says, oh, he's my second witness, he's my pair, right? And they say, oh, he's your pair, let's investigate it. Is he is a kosher witness? And they start to investigate that person who just spoke Lashon Haras and say, oh, but he this, did this and that and that and that. So that's uh, uh, that's how it works. So a person who, who speaks Lashon Haras about other people actually brings up uh, uh, his own case which is many times uh, it's not uh, what he would want to do, okay? So Riva, cited by Smak 283, said that if one kills someone who is attempting to commit capital crime against his fellow and as such uh, should be killed, uh, if that is, uh, was the only way to ensure that the crime will not uh, be committed, and later is guilt, um, and latter is guilty of very same offense. Then retroactively he is uh, considered as if he had shed uh, innocent blood. Um, let's read one more time. Try to understand. Okay. Um, Riva states that if one kills someone who is attempted to commit capital crime against his fellow, so some capital crime against his fellow, let's say somebody tried to kill his uh, his uh, friend. And uh, the third party is, he killed this uh, attacker, right? And as such, should be killed if there is the only way to ensure that the crime will not be committed. So, and uh, here's the, the way I understand this person who's trying to kill, he's a pursuer, and uh, that's how we stop the pursuer, we kill the pursuer, okay? And, uh, and later is guilty, the latter is guilty, of that very same same offense, okay. So and now, now this person who who stopped this pursuer is uh, trying to kill somebody else, right? Then retroactively he is considered as he had a shed innocent blood. Okay, it's a little complicated, but uh, it's uh, in, in the same time it's very straightforward. So in the laws of pursuer, so we, we see that uh, somebody is chasing somebody else and say, "Kill you, kill him." He has a knife. He has some. A weapon in his hands let's say so and we try to kill to stop him and we try to stop him nicely or not so nicely with a uh, I don't know with, with uh, whatever we try to stop him and it's not working so we're allowed to kill the pursuer right and it's, it doesn't matter uh, who, who is right who is wrong but because he's trying to take the, um, <clears throat> uh, the the judgment in his own hand which is never allowed okay so if we kill the pursuer and that was the only way to stop him. Okay, we are innocent. Okay, that's uh, halacha. But uh, but Riva says that um, is this if so the if the same per if that same person who killed the pursuer that this does the same thing as the pursuer did. So he is uh, retroactively he's going to be uh, judge. Uh, I mean for for the first crime of course and for this crime retroactively he's guilty. Initially, he's not guilty, but retracted because that's his behavior, that's, uh, that's why he's guilty. As proof, uh, Riva cites an episode of King uh, Yehu, uh, who in killing the members of uh, King Zahab household, was fulfilling the divine will, um, as the transmitted through the prophecy. So, Ahab, we know that it was the first king. No, Ahab was not first. No, no, I apologize. Ahab was not his first king. So, uh, so Ahab was wicked king. That that's for sure. And um, and it was a prophecy that this uh, this king Yahweh initially he was a, he was a good guy. He was a good guy and uh, righteous more or less, right? So he he was killing all of this uh, um, 
uh, family of King Ahab. Okay, so let's see what happened. Yet because Yahu was too guilty of the um, degree of idol worship, though he, his um, infraction did not approach the heinous acts of Ahab, he was held responsible for uh, mur uh, murdering Ahab's household, as it is written, and I shall bring to account the blood of Ahab, who was killed in Israel, upon the house of Yehu. It says in Hashem for one. So basically, this Yehu was supposed to do a tshuva, if say, to, to say, oh, Hashem said that uh, I have to kill all of the family of this king because they were, he was uh, the main idol worship, and they uh, looks like uh, also idol worshippers. But uh, look at me, I also, in some sense, idol worship, not not as bad as they, but uh, I also. So what right do I have to kill them? So basically that's uh, that's the thing. Of course he did not ask this question. So if Hashem sent me prophecy and he if he appointed me to be the vessel uh, through which he wanted uh, to, to, to bring the judgment, okay, maybe I'm better than them, maybe. Right? That's what we think many, many times so well, so that we may be better than other people. And it's not always true. Continue. The same applies in uh, to any sin between man and his fellow. Uh, if one rightfully um, rightfully attacks someone physically to prevent him uh, from committing a crime or embarrasses him for his having publicly disgraced Hashem's name or speaks negatively about him to prevent him from causing someone else harm and then commit, uh, or co committed or later com commits right, the very same offense, then he is considered as he had acted or spoken against innocent men. So if he had, the, if he has the same problem, so he is not allowed to talk about that person. Consequently, uh, he will be. So it's like he, he's by. So about myself, I, I don't see this issue. But about others, yeah, of course. <laughs> right? That's a big problem with uh, many of us. Consequently, he will be subject to divine retribution, as if he had acted or spoken against a Jew whose sorrows of Hashem is wholesome and beyond reproach. That's that's the worst one. Then uh, when a person is talking uh, bad about kosher people, that's uh, that's very bad. So and now if th those people were kosher, no, they know were not kosher. But since he were uh, he were behaving as they, so he is uh, he is guilty. Okay. Okay. Stop here.